Alright, this is the next part of my coin collection. These are, this is the nickel part. These are Jefferson Nichols, 1938 through 1961. Alright, don't have many of these. I just started collecting nickels. You know, looking through loose change and whatnot. Did pretty good so far. You know, there's very, very few, very, very few, but I just started. Alright, 1962 through 1996. You'll see, you know, a bit more since they're more recent years. So I got missing two there. Got that hole done. Got about eight of them over here that I need. And, you know, I just started with pennies one day, then I worked up to nickels. And, you know, I got, you know, alright, you know, like, I don't know, coins, it just fascinates me how, you know, regular currency can go from face value to, you know, more, you know, if you have the right coin. And coins are timeless. So, alright, this is Jefferson Nichols, 1997, through present. And, as you see... You got your regular nickels all the way up until 2004. That's when they started the Westward Journey uh, series. This one, I believe, is Lewis and Clark shaking hands with the Indians. Same with this one. This is a D. And you got your keelboat right there with uh, Lewis and Clark. I don't know if you see that. No, this camera's not that great. It's just a digital camera point and shoot with a video recorder. All right, and then you got your... Bison right there, American Bison, Westward Journey, and then you got your uh, your Ocean View. I think it's yeah the or the yeah the Pacific. You know right when they saw the ocean, the view they had, and um, then you have you know the redone face of the right there. So it looks real like the bust. You know instead of seeing a bust. Like you would on the nickels, you see, you know, the frontal face. It's really neat. It's kind of like how the new uh, golden dollars are. All right, moving on. I got, oh yeah, here's like some more westward expansion uh, nickels, 2004, 2005, 2006. I don't know, I started collecting them because they're neat, and I'm going to do them for these years, so, you know, I figured, hmm, one day, you know, you never know, but a lot of people are probably collecting them. Then I have a uh, V nickel right here. It's pretty worn down. It's probably a fine or a good. You see the V right there with like a little reef. Then on the front, you have, I think it's Lady, yeah, it's got to be Lady Liberty. It's almost like on those, uh, those old dollars, not the peace dollar, but um, I forget. Oh, well, I don't have any of those, though. So, you know, I'd like to. It's the year's 1912, pretty good condition. And then the famous bison, Indian head, or buffalo nickels, however you call them. And these are very tricky, because a lot of them are junk. Because right here on the shoulder of the Indian is where the date is going to be. And this one has it, but it's on the raised point, not on a low point. So, you know, they wore away fast. And a lot of, and the mint, I heard, um, started melting these down or something like that. So, you know, less of them are available. This is a 1937. And the back is a buffalo. It says five cents underneath of it. And on the top says United States of America. And right here, near the forehead, it says Liberty. And then on the shoulder, it's of, you know, of the Indian. And on the shoulder, it says the year, 1937. This one is a 1936, same thing, and this one, you can't read the date, and those are all the ones I have, you know, because I, I just, you know, these were given to me, someone heard I was collecting, so I said, oh, here, you can have these, I don't want them anymore, alright, that does it from Nichols.